All right, I want to get through this door, but I'm not quite sure what activates it. Maybe it's a lever? No, maybe it's one of those fancy torch keys. Uh, do I toss an item in? Nope, how about some TNT? No, nothing seems to be working. Huh, what's this? It's dangerous to go alone. Hm. Worth a try. Hey guys, please excuse my bad acting, but this is my sand or gravel activated door. So I really like it. I think it's really, really sleek looking. You can toss your sand or gravel in, and it just opens right up, and you can walk through. Um, I'm just going to show that it works with both sand and gravel. There we go. And I've made a glass version over here, so you can kind of see how it works. It's already open right here. Um, when you put a piece of sand in, it simply falls down. And it powers this redstone here because the signal from the repeater can travel through the sand. And that just powers this piston right here, retracts this piston and retracts these two pistons. And this button right here, it simply retracts that piston down there so the sand falls through and it resets. And that's basically it. I have the sand and gravel falling onto this weighted pressure plate down here, but you could have it going into whatever you want. Um, I just like this because it makes sure the system can't get clogged up, because whenever it hits that, it turns into an item form. So, might as well get to the tutorial. It's pretty simple to build, and not too expensive. To build it, you need various solid blocks, five sticky pistons, one redstone repeater, seven redstone torches, nine redstone dust, one button, sand, and some way to dispose of the sand. Now this also works for gravel. So once you get all of those, the first thing you're going to want to do is build out a platform. So you're going to want to make it five wide, because that's the kind of space that this door fits into. And then you need to make a three high wall. Then build out here. Pop out this block. Block this up here and extend your hallway like this. Next, you're going to want to place in your sticky pistons, so pop out these two blocks here. Place sticky pistons right here. Pop out this block, place it right here, and place a sticky piston right here. Then, finally, you need to place a sticky piston under here. From the sticky piston right here, you're going to want to build down two, then build a platform right here. This is where the sand is going to fall onto, so you need to place a repeater right here with a torch on the back of the block and a block on top to power the repeater. Then you're going to want to place dust right here. Run dust this way. Into this block, place a torch on top, block on top of that torch, and place a block here. This should power this piston when you put dust right here. Put dust on the other side like this. Then you're going to want to place a block here with a torch on the back of that block. Then you're going to want to go down here, place redstone dust here, going into this block here, with a redstone torch on top, block here, dust on top, and that should power all of your repeaters. So the system, the system should be good once you reset this sticky piston right here. And you could try it out. Place sand in here. Now you need to add the closing mechanism. So place a button right here on the back. Place a block right here and dust right here. Put a torch on the back of that block. Build down two. Break this block. Redstone dust on top. Redstone torch right here. Repeat the process again. Then you need to go down here and place a sticky piston right here. Now that the closing mechanism works, you need to place an item down here that will break the sand when it falls. So I recommend just placing a half slab. Should work okay. And when you place your sand in, and reset it, the sand falls onto the half slab and turns into an item, so the system doesn't get clogged. Thank you for watching. First of all, I would like to apologize for not having an intro or outro on this video. This is not my normal computer. That one is being repaired for a fan issue, so I'm using a different one right now, and it doesn't have my intro or outro saved onto it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you were able to understand my tutorial. As always, if there was something you didn't understand, something that I said or did, please leave a comment, and I will try to clear up any confusion. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.